Hello everybody, this is Yoshi Livo again. Behind me you see the flag of Hungary with guards protecting it because we are at Parliament Square here in Hungary. Over there you see the Library of Hungarian Parliament and we're gonna walk next to it while I'm gonna talk with you about cryptocurrencies. I have a financial background and um, that's why I got involved in cryptocurrencies in quite an early stage. I was very interested in it and ever since Bitcoin broke $10,000 a lot of people are asking me what coin should I buy uh, and how to make a profit. So the irony of the Bitcoin world is that everything is still about dollars. Nobody gave a fuck about Bitcoin when it costed 5 euros each but when it broke 10,000 people wanted to have it. So what's the difference between cryptocurrencies and uh, traditional fiat currencies is that um, it is a voluntary system and this causes some confusion especially with the old guard that made money by trading stocks from companies who make profit and then give you a dividend. People all, uh, that uh, the, in, are in the traditional financial sector always claim that there is nothing supporting Bitcoin but then there is a person like me and like me there are many others who just say that Bitcoin is their money and what the people don't realize is that people create value and money isn't worth anything only because people are working for that money it gets value so I'm always very sad to see that people who are in the traditional financial sector portray Bitcoin as if it's not worth anything because basically what they are saying is that I am not worth anything uh, and by making such statements I don't really feel like supporting their system because they're not supporting me so I'm very uh, it's, a, it's a shame that there is a ever-growing gap between those two communities, let's call it that, of people that were born and raised with without internet or Bitcoin and people that are born today and have the option to uh, choose between different forms of money. Although there is still, of course, mandatory for them to pay, for example, their taxes in fiat currencies. So why do I have such a strong feeling that Bitcoin will continue to rise over time? It's because it's uh, a voluntary system and I believe that if something is voluntary in the end it will always prevail over something that becomes mandatory. Uh, so when we are forced to do something it will never become as strong as a system that that has been chosen by the people themselves so this is in short how I see crypto or whatever it was just a small story uh, do with it what you like I wouldn't suggest buying Bitcoin straight away because I still I think we're still in a correction although it's bouncing everywhere but uh, I, I you know, I don't know. I, I, I have been uh, very active in talking people into Bitcoin, but actually since half a year, I kind of uh, uh, stopped it because I felt like, uh, yeah, people were too late, basically. But uh, there is a correction going on right now, which means there's going to be buying opportunities. So I just want to end today. Looking at the Danube again, knowing that Liberland is not far away. Thanks for your attention. I already got some reactions on my last video, which were very positive. So it's a big motivation. Thank you for that. And I'll keep you updated on my trip. Good day.